this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee ready to engage in another high-profile matchup. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Ty Bam Bam Duivasa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herbert Dean's in the building. Ready, He's fight. the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Let's do it. All right, Ty Tuivasa back to work here tonight. This is a powerful heavyweight southpaw. He's got power in both hands. And he's just a guy who always loved to fight. Thankfully, he's able to do it professionally, and the results in the UFC have been outstanding to this point in time. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Get those combinations going. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, nice combination, yes. Nice combination there by Lee. with the kick now. Oh, uh, big elbow. So more output, at least in the early going. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for now. Back and forth we go. Oh, well-timed with that tee. Might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he, oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, and now an uppercut. Let me 
Tied to Ivasa gets tattooed by that straight punch. Man has his chin been tested early. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, oh he's hurt. Oh, with authority, the body. Ooh, pretty good up with that. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Tui Vasa. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output in place. When his opponent is done at the top, this fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay in the course. He mixed it up. He went high when he low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, huge left. Oh, big elbow. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. Oh, he's got to try to finish here. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. has been a wild round one. Oh! Oh, he did it again. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now some separation. Oh. Round two next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is on the way. Right on the button. And he lands yet another hook there. Flush. Nice job by Tai Tuivasa. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Watch the strike there, counters with a jab. Head kick there, blocked by Tui Vasa. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Hands on your face. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. He's hurt bad. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh. oh, my goodness. Big left hand lands upstairs. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! And there's that elbow blocked by Luke. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot 
that he landed. Great job. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he is... Oh! Oh, he got him again. Lee's eye is closing up. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yep. Oh, nice kick. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Hands high, hands high. Oh! He's hurt. Way to hide that leg kick. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tell. Big power shot there. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Oh! Different round, and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, my goodness. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. He's able to protect the eye there with that block. So that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard. Oh! Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? He went high on that one. Now under a minute to go in the second round. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of... He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, massive. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. Huh. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Huge block there. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Tai Tuivasa. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and he can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent. Holden, by the way, he is approaching. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. He's got to keep pressing here. Nice. Oh! Relax, relax. Keep your hands. 
Well, his leg is clearly compromised here early, starting to limp a little bit, and perhaps this affects his strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, these guys are so tough that when you are able to... Oh, oh he's wobbling now. Right back. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. Oh! That is it! Tied to Ivasa gets the finish! Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ty Bam Bam Well, he's got a new contract and